some years ago, when I was working on a coffee plantation in Ethiopia, we were dealing with a problem that was seriously limiting our harvest. The plantation was invented by biting ants. They were not very harmful to the coffee plants, but they were attacking the plantation workers who no longer could pick the coffee beans. We were losing 30 to 50 percent of our harvest. If there is a biting ant here in coffee plantation, uh, I will never stand here for a minute because they rushed out and surrounded my body and uh, they started to biting uh, they, with their painful biting. One day in one meeting, uh, after the issue raised, uh, I had uh, requested permission to make a natural pesticide. Uh, however, my suggestion uh, had astonished many people, and some of them uh, took me as if I became a mad. After tedious five or six months experiment, I have got uh, two types of natural pesticides which tackles those biting ants. The ingredients are fenugreek, secondly fatty acid from beans, and other edible and non-edible oily crops. And finally, a small amount of the extracts of grapefruit seeds and peel for preservation, and then, of course, water. The pizza has a multiple purpose or a multiple qualities. Uh, the first one is uh, eradicate those dangerous pests and diseases completely or efficiently. And uh, decide eradicating these pests and diseases, uh, it is used as a fertilizer or supplementary food. It is cheap in price when you compare with that of the synthetic one. Uh, it is environmental friend, not affect the human being health, it creates employment opportunities. <laughs> I love visiting it. The market in our town is especially the spice and the grain stands. We run a small family businesses, turning local ingredients that we buy in the market into a sustainable pesticide. Hey, one guy, one guy. I sell my products for the surrounding farmers, and in addition to that, I have more than 10 delegated agents who distributed my pesticide all over Ethiopia. I was producing about 20 liters per day with my family when I applied for a patent and part participated in a competition that WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, co-sponsored here in Ethiopia. The prize I won and the publicity around it had immediately effect on we had to increase our production tenfold. We now produce around 200 liters per day, or 15,000 liters per year. The farmers dilute each liters in 100 liters of water and can use it to spray on around one hectare of crops. I put so much effort and time into this project that I wanted to protect it. A patent also gives me security to continue my research for other new products. And it protects the farmer from fake imitation that could be ineffective and even dangerous. The patent has not made me rich, but 
Hope hopefully one day it will.